Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Street and I try in this tutorial. I'll be showing you the best way to sharpen your photos and the best way to export sharp photos that don't change in color when you post them on Instagram or maybe on social media. So this is going to be a very simple and easy to follow tutorial. So simply like this video because I know some of, so many of you watch and forget to hit the like button. Remember, when you hit the like button, it also helps you to push and recommend this video to many people out there. So simply like this very video. So in order to sharpen the image, import your photo into Photoshop. And after importing it, simply come to the background layer and duplicate by pressing Ctrl J on the keyboard. Or you can use Command J on the keyboard. Then right, come here on Filter. Then you come to Other and come to High Pass. So when you come to high pass, it's going to apply the high pass filter. So depending on what the level of sharpness that you want, you can use or drag up the radius to your liking. But for this, it is recommended that you use a very low high pass. And after applying the high pass filter, you are simply going to come and hit OK. So after applying the high pass filter, the next step is going to be basically desaturating this. So in order to desaturate this layer, the reason for desaturating is because we don't want the sharpness to be affected on the colored pixels of the image. We want the sharpness to be affecting the gray areas of the image. So in order to affect the gray areas, simply press Ctrl U or you can use Command U on the keyboard to open up the hue and saturation adjustment layer. Then just come right here to saturation and simply take out the saturation from uh, the image so in this way it is only the gray pixels that are going to be affected by the coloring or by the sharpening effect of uh, this very sharpening method so after taking out the saturations come and simply hit ok so when you hit ok you will see that the sharpness is not affecting the image so we are going to simply come to the blend mode that is going to eliminate this gray effect from the image so just come right here to the blend mode where you see normal right here simply left click and scroll all the way to where you see these brightening effects so these are basically going to take away uh, that kind of gray color so you can either use soft light, overlay, vivid light, even linear light. So you can see linear light is going to have stronger results as regarding to sharpness. So I'm just going to choose linear light for this very tutorial. So if at all I show you what we have been able to sharpen, this is the before you focus on the eyes and this is the after, before, after and as usual this is too much so always remember to always come and reduce on the opacity of the sharpening effect so that the results can look nice and more natural so i'm just going to take that down so at around i'm just going to be using around 37 that is fine that's the before after before after and if at all you don't want specific areas to be affected or to affect a given area you can simply mask out and remove the effect. So in order to mask out the sharpening effect, simply hold down the option key on the keyboard or you can hold down the alternate key for all you are using Windows. Simply click on this layer mask icon. So you hold down the option key or you can use the alternate key and simply click on the layer mask icon. And that is going to take away the sharpening effect from the image. So with the brush tool selected, just get the normal brush tool and make sure the mode is set to normal and hardness at zero and soft round brush is selected with the opacity and the flat hundred percent make sure to have black and white on these color swatches right here so you can reset if at all you have any other random color right here by pressing d on the keyboard and that is going to reset these colors to black and white and after resetting you can sharpen or you can sharpen specific areas for example the eyes so I'll just come and paint over the eyes Preview the sharpening effect on the eyes. So if at all you want it on the eyebrows, you can just paint on whichever areas that you want to sharpen. You can as well even come and do a sharpening on 
even the hair if at all you wish to so i'm just going to paint just on the hair so you can see what this can contribute so you can see this is the image basically before look at the eyes and the hair after before after and if at all you feel like the effect is less you can as well come and take up the opacity to your liking so i'll just leave it around 47 before after so after sharpening remember we want to save a sharp photo that won't change in color when we post it on social media or even instagram or print it out so in order to export the image there are two ways of exporting photos when it comes to photoshop so the first method is coming to file and come to export and simply come to export as so when you come to export as it's going to open up the export as dialog box right here so this is why you have to pay maximum attention if at all you have been having issues with your photos changing in color when you are save them in photoshop don't use save as and don't use the save op option in photoshop use this option that says export as so it is going to bring up these settings make sure the format is set to jpeg and quality to 100 percent then make sure you select the resample to by cubic sharper so when you select by cubic sharper always come and make sure that you check these two options one is convert srgb and also embed color profile so when these two options are selected and checked you can simply come and hit export and in this way your images or your photos won't change in color when you post them out or when you put them on a different a device then the other way you can even export the image i'm just going to cancel that you can come to file and come to export and come to save for web legacy and it is going to open up the save for web legacy dialog box right there make sure the quality of course is set to jpeg and hundred percent as the quality so i'm just going to leave this to hundred percent make sure optimized and embed color profile are checked in this case and make sure convert convert to srgb is also checked right there and make sure the quality is set to by cubic sharper in order to save a very sharp and nice image that won't change in color when you post it on social media or when you do print it out and when you're done doing that simply come and hit save and you can save the image in whatever location that you want so basically this is how you can sharpen your photos and also export them so that they don't change in color when you print them out or when you post them on social media this is it for this video and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel ronix from Ronix photography Thank you for watching and I'll see you yet more videos on this channel. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.